Check it out everybody, it's the 4870X2 Mountain Dew Edition. It looks the same though, doesn't it? It does, it's pretty close. It's not. This is the new 4870X2 from HIS, one of my favorite manufacturers for uh, AMD video cards. Awesome performance. Now you guys probably already seen the performance on this card, but I'll go over it again anyway with you. Just uh, in case you're looking at this particular card on the product, you get to have all the information that you need. So let's talk about this card. The Super R700 is what it was codenamed originally, but it really is close related to the RV770. So if you remember, that's the codename for the 4870. That's because it's using the same GPU, the same type of memory. It's pretty much the same card, but multiplied by two. You're getting double of everything on this card. So you're getting two cores on here. Two GPUs, both operating at 750 megahertz. You're not getting twice the memory though. You're getting quadruple the memory. So instead of having 512 on the original card, this one's giving you two gigabytes of memory, which is cloned. It's not shared. You can, you know, each GPU can only access one gigabyte, but one gigabyte, that's insane already. So it's, an, it's ridiculous the fact that you get this much power on here. Uh, what else do you get? You get 1600 ALUs. So those are your shader clocks. You get 800 on a 4870. Now there's two. So you get 1600 in total, which is crazy. That's uh, 10 clusters of 32-bit processors of 80. 800 and then multiply by two, that's 1600. So that's 2.4 teraflops of raw precision shading power. That's just ridiculous. Uh, if you guys don't know what that is, teraflop is just a lot. That's like, how much is a gigabyte in 1999? No one knew. We don't know about teraflops because it's so, it's crazy. Get a lot of performance. Now, what else do you get on here? Uh, you get 80 uh, texturizing units, which is really cool. You get 32 ROPs. Again, DDR5. Like in the 4870, you get 40, uh, 40 texturing units, but it's multiplied by two. So 80 texture, uh, texturing units in total, 32 ROPs, two gigs of RAM. It's insane. Now, let's talk about the frequency of that RAM. It's operating at 900 megahertz. So it's DDR5, it's quad pumped. That's 3,600 megahertz. That's 3.6 gigahertz so that is extremely extremely fast memory and to keep that memory cool you probably don't know this but on the back of the board which i might add is black instead of red for i think a first time ever the the, the actual chips for the memory are on the back plate instead of on the front to keep the memory cool on this side and not heat the other side that has the gpu inside so that's an interesting uh idea they did i guess to keep temperatures down which is important because this card does run very hot mine was running at almost 90 degrees celsius in a room in a regular temperature room like this one like what 70 degrees 90 degrees celsius so very hot it did overclock a little bit i guess it is very well designed to run at those temperatures it safely runs it there um let me tell you another thing too, it's pretty cool. Uh, right between the cards, you can't see it, but if you take the backlight off, uh, it's, you wouldn't even see it, it's not physical, but there is something new, it's called the side port interface. And what that's gonna do is gonna let the two GPUs talk to each other. Uh, so in the end, when PCI Express 2.0 finally gets fully saturated and we're using it to its full potential, AMD will be unlocking through the drivers the side port interface, which is gonna be very interesting. It's five gigabits per second each way, so that's gonna add a lot of uh, bandwidth to the whole card in general, and that should come out soon, eventually when they need it. Uh, I'm not sure how long it'll take, also, the memory on here is still 256 bits, bits wide, but again, it's double. Since it's cloned and you have one gigabyte here and one gigabyte here, each one of them has a 256 bit wide interface. So you're gonna get double the, the width of the interface as you would have before. Not double, but twice as many. Uh, same width, again, 115 gigabytes per second of throughput like you would get on a 4870, but multiplied by two. It's crazy. And as far as power, let's talk about power. And let me give you a quick uh, run around the board. The card, for me, pulled 280 watts. So that's a lot of power. I put it in a kilowatt meter and I did onboard graphics and I did this and uh, 280 watts, guys, that's crazy. Let's talk about the power. Six pin PCI Express connector over here, eight pin PCI Express connector over here. Make sure that you get plenty of power, plenty of amps. Look at the ratings, look at the specs. You're gonna need a big power supply. If you're gonna run quad fire, you're gonna need a huge, huge power supply. Let me uh, show you the rest of the card. Nice heat sink up here, very nice. You can tell they're working hard to get over the, the thermal issues they're having. If you also notice, there's no, uh, it's all closed off. All the heat on this card is going out one way, and that is this way, out the vent. It's definitely not going into your case to further warm up the interior of your computer. It's going straight out the back. Uh, and then if you look, obviously it's a double card solution. And if you look back here, your two uh, DVI-Ds are there. So those are dual link DVIs. They will do 2560 by 1600, and you can run multiple monitors with this card. You also get this S-Video, they call the TV out, but pretty much what that is, it's a seven pin digital as video cable, and you get these little throw uh, breakaway cables in the box. So these are very nice, these plug in right here. They do 1080i out to your TV, so you can do high def on these. They're very useful. Now, if you wanna go all out and you do 1080p, here is 
an HDMI to DVI adapter and this will do sound and not only will it do sound it'll do 7.1 channel sound it'll do DTS ES every other format full surround sound all through here it's a new feature called UVD 2.0 also included in the box very nice for them to include a VGA to DVI adapter and if you really want to keep it simple and go uh, composite you can definitely use this little thing for a normal TV very popular what else you got back here a nice bridge for crossfire so if you're psychotic and you want to run two you can melt your mind and do that it's not a big deal very 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 insanely powerful fast hot running card if you have an x38 or an x48 you can use this card and you will never see performance like this in any other card this is the fastest card in the market and it probably will stay the fastest card of the market probably for the rest of 2008. I can't imagine Nvidia coming out with anything else. I know they're gonna come out with the Plus uh, and those will probably run a little faster on like maybe one or two games when you have three of them versus two of these. But you're pretty much looking at the card that's gonna stay the fastest card on the market for quite a while. If you have any questions, go ahead and email me and I'll uh, see you guys next time. For more information on the HIS Radeon HD 4870X2 video card, go to compusa.com and type in H231-4872 into the search box. Or you can always call us 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at 1-800-COMPUSA.